Good day everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and today I received a comment from one of my YouTube video and that is all about importing objects from Pick and Planner to Dallas Evo. And if you haven't watched this one, go and check this one. Okay, so this is from Miguel and he said in my case i import the 3ds file to dialogs 4.13 then save it as m3d file finally i use this file in dialogs evo and the polygons are reduced so it's all about using objects in your um, dialogs evo file okay so right now i have mannequins here and i'm going to use this one here in my retail shop and let's see if it's really possible and reduced so right now this mannequins has well it's little less it's a 255 kb only but let's see if it's really true that when you import it into dialax regular and save as m 3d file and it will reduce the file okay so let's go and open now the dialax red the regular one okay so i'm opening now my dialax regular red and i'm going to use an indoor and then i'm going to file import my 3d file and I'll say next and then browse and go to my folder where I save my uh, dummies and I will use this um, less this mannequin and then I will open it and then next and next and next and finish oh huge <laughs> okay my dummy is it's beyond my box okay let me just go and scale it so i'm going to scale it down so the size is supposed to be 2.5 by 1.7 by 6.9 this is still high okay zoom extend all right this is still high so what i'm going to do is i will still reduce it into 0.25 by 0.17 by 0.6 and that is crazy <laughs> it's wrong okay let me just go and do it in a manual okay let's say this is the height of this one is say 1.7 stall and then i'll make this one as 0. 0.6 yes and then i'll make this one as 0. 0.5 let's see on the other side yeah okay let's make this one as 0. Uh, six also there you go and maybe this one is the point five so he will be at least a slimmer one there you go now my dummy is here and then i will go and save this one as md3 file so i'll go click it and then save object and then i will save this one in my desktop so i can easily access it and i will say uh, dummy that md3 okay and then save all right i think i save it and if i go to my desktop it will be there yeah here is my dummy so what i'm going to do is i will import it now to my dialux evo so go file import a furniture file go to my desktop check my dummy and then open and there you go my dummy is there i'll just move it inside my store there you go the dummy is there and let's see the file size file properties yeah it's 796 kb aha uh -huh. i think it's much bigger now before i got only 200 154 KB. Now it becomes 700. Yeah, in comparison, now I got 796 before it's only 200. So I think, um, Miguel, I am not sure how did you do that, but it seems I need to try one more and uh, see if it's really going to happen, like it's reducing the file size. But what I can see right now, it's not. But I have this dummy kit here. Okay, so yeah, that's it for now. And try it yourself and let's see if it, it will happen to you. 
like what Miguel is doing. But for me, it's not working properly. It's not working. It's become bigger. The file is much become bigger. Okay. So Miguel, thank you for your suggestion, but uh, I will try it again. Okay, so thank you so much and I'll see you again on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check this notification bell so you'll get updated and don't forget to become my Facebook friend and uh, enroll in my Udemy courses, especially the Dialogs Evo for Basic and Dialogs Evo for Advanced Users. Alright, so see you again on the next video. Bye!